Hi everyone, how are you? I hope everyone is doing okay today. This is Upstream Health again with Ify. All right, just a quick background of the name Upstream. Someone actually asked why Upstream and now not down, Downstream. So for me, I know we have a meaning in healthcare, like in healthcare, when we talk about upstream, we're referring to where the patient lives or where the individual lives, eats, sleeps, like the home, what happens in the home, what happens, um, like even where you work, you know, away from the hospital setting or away from the doctor's office or away from your healthcare provider's office. Like your provi your healthcare provider want to know what's going on in your home, the place where you work, the place where you meet your friends, like what actually happens there. Like, like your healthcare provider doesn't want to talk about, oh, I know you have high blood pressure. I just want to give you this blood pressure medication. He wants to know what you eat. So like the sauce, like the root cause, like when we talk about um, root cause analysis, like the cause, the cause, I mean to say, the source, you know, the initial place, the starting point of your health, okay? So whatever happens upstream is pivotal to your healthcare outcome. So another way I love to say it is when we talk about like streams, like back in Africa, I know we we go to the stream. Not that I've been to the stream, but I know like back in Africa, a lot of us grew, grew up where we have like streams. People go to the stream to get water, to shower, to wash. So upstream is where you get clean water, like clean water that you can drink. And downstream is where people wash clothes, wash their bodies, play, swim. You don't go downstream to get clean water. You actually go upstream to get clean water. So upstream is clean water. It's not polluted. It's clean. So when you talk about upstream health, you're talking about a clean place, a source, like the original, the authentic. So for me, I am actually asking like my audience, let's go back upstream. Let's start from there in taking care of our health. It's not just about taking medications to control your chronic condition. It's also um, important that you go back to know what's making the chronic condition unmanageable or worse. So you go back to your home, like when we talk about diet, you ask yourself, what am I eating? Why, why is this health condition difficult to manage? Why am I not responding to the medications? Why am I having headaches? Why am I, um, why is my glucose not being controlled even though I am on medications? So it's like going back to the beginning, to where you live, where you eat, at the time that you wanna pick up your food and eat, you're asking yourself, what am I eating? Okay, so that's why upstream. And on the other side, I just wanted to just share with you guys another tip for healthy snacking. I don't know what you guys like take to work. You know, like I have this that I love. I don't know who loves carrot. This is carrot, this is apple. And I don't eat it that way. I usually use like a peanut butter. So I have my apple here. And I have some carrot. So, like we're talking about upstream. I'm in my house, and this is what I'm eating. All right, so this is what I'm eating. So when you do a food recall at the end of the day, just to see what you did put in, what you uh, put it in your mouth, you'll be able to, you know, guess what your health outcome will look like. So this is peanut butter. Okay, let me show you guys all that I thought to share with you guys. So I use, um, this is almond butter. This is another almond. I love almond a lot. And this is walnut butter. And I have raw cashew butter. So I don't know if you're like me, I'm always mixing. I love varieties. I love, I love variety. So this is, where's my 
peanut butter here. So this is how I enjoy my snack in the day. So I love peanut butter and almond most of the time. And the way I do this is like before I go to work, believe me, I put up like a plate like this. I put the butter, the peanut butter, wash the carrot, and I put it on the dining table, take some, go to work. And when I come back, when I'm very hungry, I quickly go to this. That way, like I get a little bit more filled before I get like my real meal for the day. So this is how I enjoy, how I enjoy it. And I hope you try it. It's very good. This is apple and peanut butter and almond butter. Mm. And this is carrot. You should try it with, with carrot. Very healthy. Okay. So like I said, just came out here to give you a brief background of upstream. Why I chose upstream and not downstream. Alright, so upstream is the original where you live actually at upstream like i said is where you make a lot of changes to get a better health outcome okay so i'm gonna see you guys in another video and i think i should be talking about portion control and weight loss please i need you guys to ask me questions other topics right now we're dealing more with weight loss high blood pressure Diabetes is going to be another huge topic that I'm going to be dealing with maybe next week. So if you have your questions, if you have questions on medications, I need you to, to ask me those questions because soon we'll start talking about medications and managing chronic conditions like, are you sure you're taking the right medications? That's why self-medication is not right for you. Are you sure you're taking the right medication to manage your chronic condition? So we'll also be talking about that in the coming weeks, okay? So I need you guys to ask me questions, okay? And on that note, do enjoy the rest of your evening and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.